Kling 2.0 AI video generator is absolutely insane. Take a look at this video that I just made using it. So as you saw, that was insane. And this is the brand new 2.0 version updated and they have before the 1.6 and i'll show you exactly the difference between the 1.6 and the 2.0 and i'll show you the difference between the five second and the 10 second clips that way you can decide if it's even worth it because as of right now to generate with the 2.0 it is actually quite expensive versus the other 1.6 version but don't worry let me show you go ahead and i actually had to recreate I think three total videos with uh, the same image half was uh, 1.6 and the other was the 2.0 and just to note for the 2.0 version it took forever like almost 15 to 20 minutes at right now to make the video so for me to do three different videos it basically was like 45 plus minutes of me just waiting but let's go ahead and these are previous when I was messing around with that like tiny uh, human train I was playing around with and basically, I have access to Sora as well from ChatGPT or OpenAI. And let's just say even the the six point or the one point six for Kling is significantly better than Sora because Sora it just sends some crazy stuff. So let's go ahead and take a look at the example. So this one is using actually it's probably better to see the one point or one point six first. So here I just had a random picture of a dude surfing on a wave and. What I was trying to do was get like a POV of the camera person, but I guess the AI didn't know. So I just put surfer riding a giant wave POV. And you can see here, this is with the 1.6. So for 1.6, in case you've never used Kling before, it costs standard for five seconds is 20 credits. So I think if you get the most uh, expensive plan, that's almost pretty much like 20 cents. So I think around 100 credits is about a dollar. And then if you have a less uh, cheaper plan, maybe cost more, but give or take, that's around the estimate, at least, at least right now. So this right here, five seconds, and you can see how it's like, it's decent, pretty good. And before this update, this would be fine. But now comparing this to 2.0, and actually let me make this screen bigger because I think maybe it's hard to see. But you can see here that the person surfing, this is 1.6 right here. And it looks okay, not that bad. But then if we were to switch to the uh, 2.0, here you can see the flow of the person surfing looks a lot more realistic and stuff like, this is what much more natural uh, look in terms of like, actual surfing. You can see here he's running the wave and he's pivoting and then he falls into the wave and crashes and disappears. So this is the 2.0 for the five seconds. So this cost me 100 credits, so about $1 to make this video, which I feel for AI like this, something is very simple. I felt like I need to do something a lot crazier. So that's where it comes in, this uh, racing video, which you saw. So here's 1.6, uh, and let's let's rewind, because here, so here's the beginning from the start. And basically, it's it's going, it's okay. The robots are moving. But it's super slow and realistic is really not realistic because if you're if you have jets flying out of your car, your car should be zooming through the city, right? The one thing I do like about 1.6 is it does maintain this frame of the city and continues the design back here. So it auto-generated this design and it maintained that design. For the 2.0, take a look at this. So you already saw it obviously in the beginning of the video, but is the car is moving significantly faster. It maintains the text on the back and it looks like it did the sort of a transition to the second part here. So it's like he straight teleported to another city like right there. So I mean, in term, ideally I would have preferred the first 1.6 scene, but with the 2.0 movements, but I'm sure if I were to regenerate this a couple times, probably would uh be better but the one thing is this costs 200 credits so this was like two dollars give or take us to make this 10 second clip 
So you can just imagine if you were to make a video, let's say 60 seconds, that's literally six clips. At, if you were to do 10 seconds, and if you were to do five, obviously, even um, it'd be the same price, but the amount of time it would take would be basically doubled. So just note that that would be like 12 plus dollars, give or take, assuming every single clip was perfect. And now let's go ahead and do this is the third test. I want to do more, but yeah, I just didn't want to wait all day just for this to generate. So here this I just have a picture of some dude on a horse and I was trying to make him go riding into battle. And as you can see, like this, this is 1.6, if you didn't notice. 10 seconds, by the way. And it's basically, it's just not, it doesn't look that good. So this is pretty much unusable, unless you wanted to have like a voiceover or something. But as of right now, this is basically unusable, and I can't really use it for anything. And that only good thing I'd say is if you need something basic, again, it's 20 credits. So I could generate, for the price of one 2.0, video I can generate five of the 1.6 so you can see here the credits change and as of right now obviously this is the current setup but now let me show you the 2.0 and after this I'm gonna show you some of the other people's videos that they created to save me some time so I don't have to generate myself but these right now so look at this the horse is running dudes uh, in the background it looks like there's some like dust coming up the guy actually on top of the horse looks pretty natural in terms of like a horse riding aspect. And in terms of the feet, I mean, according to this 10 second video, that looks like the knees are moving in the correct uh, position and the feet are touching. The only thing I notice is like the hooves turn black when they go up. So maybe that's like a shadow thing, maybe. I'm not too sure. But I can definitely notice the color of the hooves are like they're changing color right here. But either way, I don't really care about that much too much. That uh, the actual effect, and you even see stuff in the background moving. This is pretty insane. And now, you might be thinking, this is so expensive for a video. But what you don't realize is that this is literally the beginning. So that means once the new competition comes out, upgrades, or even this updates more, the cost is going to get cheaper, and from there it's just going to get better. So now let's take a look at some other people's creations. So. Right, so now here are some videos that other people created so they have a competition right now but pretty much here you can see these are some of the other examples you can see with the uh, current 2.0 so like look at this one this one looks pretty crazy I saw one that was insane let me see if I can find it all right so this this is crazy look at how perfect that looks there this one is this is okay obviously I can kind of see that it's like video game quality but it's, it's gonna be there soon this one this one was nuts this is basically a transformer from this uh image and i mean it looks like the scene kind of changed the background but look, look at how crazy that is and then, then this one's like a crocodile chasing someone here's a dinosaur pov oh my god this is <laughs> this is crazy yeah, so there's, like, just think think of what is possible you could create. This one actually looks kind of, uh, yeah, these look like more realistic. All right, let's see, cat surfing with the shark. So it looks like the ones that seem to be the most realistic are these, like, POV styles. But what's so crazy is the depth and how it knows to include the background, which I still don't understand here. So let's look a couple more. Yeah, this this is gonna change the the game. What's gonna happen most likely, and if you guys follow me already before, usually I make stuff on coding and AI based off of coding. But video is amazing too because, I mean, everything you're watching is about to turn into AI. Yeah, people are making some crazy videos here. All right, this is some brain rot. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, like this stuff is gonna be insane. Like, look at this. This is a full on animation. And the talking voices, everything. So yeah, this is crazy. Definitely let me know. All right, see, here's a video of what I try to do, but they made it much better, I guess, with the quality of the image. But yeah, these are just some of the examples. So let me know, what do you think? Is this the best AI video generator in the market right now? Is it too expensive, too cheap? Or do you think it's perfect for the current cost? And if there's any other AI tools you'd like me to check out, whether it's 
chat prompts, images, videos, AI agents. Let me know in the comments below. And aside from that, like and subscribe for more AI content.